Time to party, people. Question, daytime, nighttime? We're gonna find out shortly here. Hopefully the music doesn't uh, mess it up like it always do. Nah, it doesn't do it all the time. Anyways, my understanding for my uh, Celsius friends, it's about 44.44, I think that's what it said, degrees Celsius. And for my US friends, it's about 112 today. However, if you saw my post in my car, probably about two hours earlier, it said it was 120. We'll talk once we get outside. Ready to start the journey. So, I don't know if you all heard that or if I ended up having to cut it out, but I'll just say it again. It's about 44.44 degrees Celsius. And then uh, Fahrenheit, it's about 112 for the high today, which is usually around four or so. Between four and five. So, uh, I want to say, I think I got the name right. I should have checked before I said it, before I came here. But Rick in Cleveland, uh oh. Thanks for the tip, buddy. I hope you guys aren't drunk already after that. I didn't realize I said uh oh a lot. I guess that's why you guys must sip it, not take the full-on shot. But it's funny. Now I'll probably be aware of that I say uh oh a lot, and I won't say it. I'll never forget you. We're gonna see if we can see my buddy Yorkshire Dave up here. Where are you at, Yorkshire Dave? Where are you at, buddy? I'm looking for your camera. Only because I remembered it, because it just happened. Oh shoot, we got the whole crew here. Bowser, Mario, and Luigi. Now why doesn't Mario, why don't Mario and Luigi go ahead and punch out Bowser, huh? Now that would make for a good 20 bucks. That'd be worth it, huh? No. Wow, there are a heck of a lot of characters out here. We've seen Spider-Man, but Woody, Mickey, Yoda, Goofy, they're all here tonight. Dang. I was gonna start on the other side, but uh, I decided on Tuesday night when I did my walk, I did it on, I started on the other side, so I figured, let me start on this side. But more importantly, this is in the shade already because I'm starting a little later than I had uh, anticipated. The 
the um, what was I gonna say? The um, Ray Ray. Those girls made me think right now because you had posted um, what do you call it about showgirls day or night. And I just came from the uh, well, the pharmacy at the grocery store. And I'm waiting in line there. And I saw the comment. I don't think the lady in front of me cared for it. Or she thought I was a mental. But I'm like, Ray, Ray! And then she turned around. I think she turned around and looked at me like, what's wrong with this wacko? But anyways, no more comments about showgirls, Ray, Ray. You can get me in trouble, buddy. I'm just kidding. Comment all you want. Looks like tonight's a busy night, huh? Thursday's definitely busier than Tuesday. That's always been my general experience when I worked at the hotel anyways. But uh, I didn't anticipate it being this busy. Okay. I think it was Lily. I should have made notes. I was gonna make all kinds of notes. I'll make notes for tomorrow's walk. I'm gonna try and uh, do a walk tomorrow morning. But I gotta go back and write notes. Just like I told you in the last video. I put thumbs up on the videos with something that I thought would be good and interesting to talk about. But I didn't have any time to uh, really do any research in terms of watching them and making the notes. So, hopefully if I can get this walk done, hopefully I'll have time in the morning to go ahead and bang that out. Upstairs, downstairs, it's busy. Let's see how the progress is coming along here. At the boulevard. We'll get a much better idea tomorrow when they're working. Hopefully I won't uh, get cooked while I'm out here. It's uh. Well, but it's still hot as hell. One dollar ice cold Remember when I'm like, hey, I like how the glass looks at the wind, Mandalay Bay, Encore. Let me see if we get, uh, probably not in time. We might need to rewind it a little. Here we go. Nah, here we go. See? Where's the, where's the pop? Where's the, I don't know. This looks kind of boring. That's just my own opinion. Opinion.
The only reason I'm able to uh, be here tonight, once again, my wife's going to go watch Barbie. So uh, that's with my daughter. She'll go watch it. So that's why I'm able to get out at night uh, lately. Well, here and there. But the specific reason for tonight. I'm not even sure why I look at this uh, hotel it's supposed to go up because, well, doesn't seem like a whole lot of anything's going on other than they got a bunch of equipment out here. You say this is crazy for being so busy. I can't believe uh, I made it from the inside of MGM to uh, Harmon here this quick. I mean, I just need to slow it down here. But I know my man Ray Ray is like, dude, if you're going to slow it down, slow it down behind some showgirls. Hey, Parker. There you go. For those of you that are coming out this weekend, holy, I suggest you skip it if it's the next five or six days. And no, I'm not kidding. It's supposed to be about $1 water, $5 beer. Uh, it's supposed to be eight degrees above normal on Friday, nine on Saturday and 10 on Sunday. So it's gonna be a warm, warm weekend. It's supposed to be 113, 114, and 115 respectively. Lily, Lily, I want to say thanks for rating me a 7.5. I appreciate that. I was a little worried there when you said you're an average looking dude. <laughs> uh, but that was a good rating. I'll take it. We all know why I'm going this way, don't we? Avoid the uh, escalator over at 
the Cromwell. This is the, uh, the restaurant that's supposed to be completed here in the fall over here at Planet Hollywood. We'll see, uh, we'll see if it happens. There we go, we got these guys. They're prepping tonight for their uh, jump over each other and dance routine. But we'll go inside here. Because like I said, summer-wise, uh, we gotta look to go inside a little more than we usually do. Not a ton more, but somewhat more. Mainly to avoid the uh, phone from overheating. Took me some vitamin C, get me through this walk. Tomorrow, I might need to do the coffee for the morning because uh, I don't have too much vitamin C. If you know what I mean. Well, folks, which way should I go? Long way, short way? I don't know. It's kind of tough to decide right now. All right. We'll go the long way. Uh, I was going to be able to get a couple of walks done tomorrow, but I don't think that's going to happen. Because I was thinking I wasn't going to be... Uh, home for lunch so I was like okay well I'll go down there walk the morning roll over to break time for an hour or so and then do a second walk but gotta be home for lunch I feel like I'm going a little too uh fast on this walk right now. You need to slow it down. Huh. Sometimes you gotta make your own path, folks. Cutting through restaurants.
They still got a little bit of work to do, as you can uh, tell. I think once they clear that area out here, as far as the uh, facade, and then they get the uh, Miracle Mile out front on the north side, I think they'll be done. one uh, question for you because only one person commented on it I didn't really ask you guys to comment anyways but I appreciate it always um, you guys ever notice tour buses usually in here man I don't remember them even when I worked at the hotel I mean it was a very rare occurrence Jay, my friend. Sorry you're not here, my man. You could have had some free food, free room. That would have been nice, huh? You could have used that money and doubled it, baby. No. Excuse me. I, uh... Remember... For those of you that, I don't know, I guess follow Las Vegas history, there used to be a hotel called the Landmark. It was like, I don't even know what you would call it. It looked like a, like a, the letter I, like a big old, kind of looked like the stratosphere except for one center beam instead of the three. And then at the top it had this like circle, flying saucer looking thing anyways uh, they used to have you know they have marquees and the signage and all that and on one of the signs I mean I was a little kid but I remember my parents saying it and it said come in and double your paycheck on the sign as you were uh, going in to park at the place I was like, man, oh man, that's pretty uh, crazy. I know you've got to advertise, but come in and double your paycheck. Uh-oh. Just for my man, Ray Ray. Are we going to be able to get in in time? Uh, sorry, Ray. We just got two tonight. I think we're going to call... We're going to na name that the unofficial uh, showgirl bar here. At the Tipsy Robot. At least for night. That's the only time I ever see him uh, at that Tipsy Robot. I sometimes get the feeling that the uh, the casinos don't want the uh, the girls in there. That's what it seems like, at least. I think these two girls were at the uh, showgirl bar earlier. <laughs> well, oh well. Not sure what we do here, folks. I would like to say go, but we know me. We know me, you know me. People are turning left and this one is turning right. Now the question is, are we gonna get anyone to honk? Oh, uh-oh. I don't know what these honk. Oh, they're just waving at people. <laughs> I don't know what they're honking at. 
no one's in the uh, in the street or anything, and there was no one about to hit them. There we go. Let's see if we can make this stretch run to the Flamingo inside-wise. Or should we go, you know what, what the heck? Let's go inside the Paris today. And let's go through this entrance, not the, not the valley entrance. I was gonna go uh, run the outside area. I was like, oh no. Doug, Peter, you two dudes are watching. You remember a guy, Chris Ferguson? Uh, let's go this way because I have no idea where I'm going. He uh, does he still play anymore? Remember, he used to wear a cowboy hat. He was fun to watch. No one's more fun than that su than the suicide bomber Gus Hansen, though, for my money. I mean, that was, you know, years ago. I don't know if that dude still plays. Um, but that guy was crazy. He didn't, he didn't even care. But, Doug, question for you. You do the online... Uh, poker thing just curious when I was younger I used to do it uh, but just for fun you know man I'll tell you what I think because there was there was no uh, like real skin in the game and people would be like annoying they'd be like going all in every single time and it was like dude like try and you know use some talent and some brains don't just go all in every time if that was really i don't know whatever twenty thousand fifty thousand dollars whatever it was i'm pretty sure your butt ain't going in uh all in every time well, these ones are hitting a club woo, woo. well four of them dang they're getting their Instagram picture on. I should have said it. But the last time I said it, woo, that girl over at Caesars did not like that, huh? Hey, we're just here to have fun, man. And let's not be fake. You were taking that picture for Instagram. I think uh, Kathy, Beth, Mary, I'm pretty sure when you ladies come here to play, or come here to play, come here to Vegas, you come here to break the one arm bandits or whatever the uh, table game that you like. But slots are so big, I just, uh, I don't want to say kind of assume, but I kind of assume that a lot of people play the slots compared to the tables. This should be my thumbnail. Showgirls inside of the hotel. That's like a first.
Nah, that'd be a boring picture, let's be honest. Boring thumbnail, I should say. I was gonna say, you know, it's funny, I'm here and I'm like, oh man, I'm moving so fast, blah, blah, blah. But then it finally dawned on me that I'm only at the uh, Paris. When I hit Harmon in my mind, I was at the Flamingo and Las Vegas Boulevard intersection. That's why I was like, oh boy, I'm moving so fast. Whew. That's an expensive bumblebee. This is the bumblebee that's free to take a picture with, but you can't take it home because, let's face it, I don't know how expensive that sucker is, but I'm not getting near it because I'm pretty sure you break it, you pay for it. This is Guy's Flavortown Sports Kitchen here. Doug ate here recently, you can recommend the ribs. This weekend, not a ton of walks. We got tonight, hopefully Friday morning, and then uh, Sunday morning. Hopefully, I mean, that's the plan. Things are always apt to change, though. I don't know if I'm going to get a downtown in or not. I might not get me a downtown in this weekend. But next weekend, probably. Uh-oh. What do we got here? One ambulance, and there's another ambulance. Woo! Let's go the back way. Oh man, this is the first time I've seen this with my own eyes, folks. Supposedly, I saw some article that it's causing a lot of congestion because people are stopping to look and they're all mesmerized by it. I gotta say, it is pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, what's the new, uh, what's the new one going to be? A soccer ball? Oh, no. I don't know, what do you think, folks? 2.2 billion, I think, is what that puppy ran for? That's a lot. Normally I'd cut between those vehicles, but we'll just walk straight here and then cut across. Don't worry, for those of you that are 
excited like I'm gonna walk over to the stratosphere or stratosphere the sphere I'm not but I do remember I want to say Lalani you were asking about uh, exactly where it is and I hope the directions sounded good and correct but if you look straight ahead, there's the uh, Venetia and the Palazzo there. As you can see, if I pan over, it's like behind those properties. But there's the Wynn parking, I think it's the Wynn employee parking structure. It's not even the regular, uh, if you're going there to, what do you call it? Uh, stay or whatever, or gamble or eat. It's not the same place where uh, Do you have a key? They park. Where you and I would park, basically. Not the same area. <laughs> basically, let me see here. If you see the signal down there, when you hit that signal, if you made a left, there we go. Whoopsie. We're good. We didn't trip just a little bit. If you made a left down there and then went... Uh, straight ahead after you made that left to the left would be the Venetian slash Palazzo to the right would be the wind parking structure and on the right hand side of that wind parking structure you would see the uh, sphere I don't know how the parking or anything like that's going to work that should be uh, interesting I don't think I'm going to get any invites. Uh, thought maybe they'd be like Eric, the social media king. We definitely need him there. With his gimbal on his telephone. <laughs> Not high fancy pants cameras and gimbals for the, uh, for a camera as opposed to a gimbal for a phone. So a question for you folks, when you come out here next time, are you going to make it a point to try and see this sphere? Or is it going to be more like, if you see it, cool, if you don't, you don't. Wow, look at the line of traffic here. I don't think I can cross either. Or can I? Oh, I guess I can. Oh, yeah, I can. Is this guy going? Not going? We'll go. I was going to go up through the link, but... I don't think I've come through this uh, back way. For those of you that are, if you're wondering where the, what this is, that's the uh, monorail that runs from the MGM Grand down to the Venetian slash Palazzo. And then, uh, what do you call it? And then it makes a right-hand turn and takes you over to the uh, Westgate slash Convention Center area. Since I got you here and we have a moment of silence. Ooh, it smells like chlorine. Ooh, wee. Uh, I do want to say thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing, liking, all that. Couldn't believe it. Up to 2,800 uh, subscribers now. Aki Aki, you were right, buddy. Start talking a little bit. Let's see. All right, Lily. 
my uh, rock. Whoa. Uh -oh. That's my rock impersonation for the day. As you can see, I really can't lift my uh, eyebrows like he can. I also don't probably get them waxed like he does. Ow. Well, I know I don't. I'm not, I don't know for sure if he does, but. Here is the go pool. Oh shoot, maybe we can walk straight on through the back. The go pool I think is like their, I don't know what you call it, like fancy pool or day club type of pool. Pretty sure they have a DJ and all that in there and yeah. Let me see if I can get a little better look. Cabanas. Huh. Flamingo lights up pretty well, huh? Oh boy. There's some annoying electronic music there, huh, folks? Whew. Let's go inside for a minute. Eh, let's stay on the outside. Carlos and Charlie's looks pretty empty right now. And I think they turned the music down just for me. I'm just playing. Tell me that constant beat wouldn't be annoying, huh? Can you imagine if you drank a little too much? Ooh. If you didn't have a headache, that'd probably be giving you a headache, huh? I know that would give me a headache. Ooh. No snorkeling. I'm just kidding. That water is. Mm. Don't look that nice. That's definitely not me jumping in it and running around. Cool it. Well, it would cool me off, but that's about all. There we go. <laughs> All right, folks. We're going to have a moment of truth here when we turn left. Uh, you know what? We're going to turn right. We'll talk about what we're going to uh, check out here, what our guessing game's gonna be. I think we already know what the guessing game's gonna be. How many cowboys, how many cowgirls, how many police girls, how many showgirls, and how many cartoon characters will be at the Link Promenade. Wow. Wow. Thing. Can you believe how busy this is here?
I missed. Thirsty Thursday. Oh, look at these fountains. I know I've been here at night before, but I don't remember. Uh, I didn't realize that the colors of the fountains coincide with the sky pods. Is that true or did I just make it up? No, we're not going to in and out tonight. Man, they're busy. Look at this dude. Tie a little rope with a tennis ball to his hat. Not sure uh, the purpose on that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You got your guesses in? What are your guesses? I know I got my guesses. I'm gonna say no cowboys, cause it's 8, 12 at night. So we got no cowboys. I'm gonna say like six police girls, two showgirls. No cowgirls. Two entertainers. That's my final answer. I'm sure I'm gonna be way off. There'll probably be like 25 cowboys, 30 showgirls, Zero police girls. Let me way off. Eh. Whatever. Let's see if we have Mickey and Bumblebee over at the Mirage. Front man there was definitely beyond toasted there for tonight. If I'm a betting man, I'm gonna say there'll be some puke later in that crew. Well, I don't have my glasses on because I have my sunglasses. I see some red up there. Wow, I was totally wrong, I think. I got two, damn, I got like two show, four showgirls? I don't know. Four showgirls, four cowgirls. I don't even know how many. Like, wow. That'd be a lot there, folks. I, the only thing I was right about Cowboys. No cowboys.
I think every single entertainer there is uh, at the link. Piano bar versus Carnival Court and Big Bumblebee. Big Bumblebee! <laughs> oh. With some police girls. We got two there and another two. Over here. Now she's a Spider-Man, not me. That one don't even look like a police girl. Wow. We got Mickey and Bumblebee or no? Eh, I can't tell. Sure looks like we got Bumblebee. Can we see? I don't know, I can't even tell if Bumblebee's there. Ah, there's Bumblebee. But I don't see Mickey. Oh, Mickey's there with him. All right. All is right in the universe today, folks. All is right. Why? Mickey and Bumblebee are at, my, are at their spot at the Mirage. Ooh. Wow, the crowd kind of thinned out, huh? I don't believe it. I was gonna say, I'll say it probably a trillion more times, but it's funny how during the night, there will be like a trillion showgirls during the summer, right? Then, you know, I don't know about the winter, so maybe I'm wrong. But then I was gonna say, come the winter, like a bunch of showgirls come out during the day. Same thing with the rest of the entertainers. Like, I'm used to seeing, uh, well, you guys too. You used to see Mickey and Bumblebee and all them during the day when it's not hot. But when it's hot like this, yo, no can do, buddy. Whoa. And here we go, let's get some nice air. Ooh. 
what you guys think. I don't want to go in the Venetian, but speaking of the Venetian, how about that? No more free parking, huh? Coming up. I got to go watch and uh, I got to go find out exactly when that's happening because they are not my friends. Not no more. What the heck? Let's take a walk through the mall today. I feel like I'm going to get myself in trouble by walking all these places and then have nowhere to walk on Friday and Sunday. But hopefully I do. got some people moving time. take a break whenever I can and chill on the escalator but by the time I got to the uh, Venetian if I did that and I think uh, it might be my birthday let's go by Tao let's go see how the clubs or if they're lighting it up, if they're lit. Let's take a brief moment to get this sunset. We'll just take a quick second here. I like sunsets. I like sunrises too. Preferably ones with tequila. That's pretty nice, huh? There's the moon there. The mirage. The rest of the strip. Now let's go inside and cool down. Welcome to the Grand Canal Shop. It's so nice in here.
can't figure out where they're going. We'll figure it out for them. Everyone thinks to go down that escalator. Wrong one, wrong, wrong, wrong. We're gonna go straight out this one. Burberry. Oh dang, these are shops that YouTubers can't afford. Bring me back to Planet Hollywood, that's my, uh, that's my uh, purchasing power level. Full circle, folks. You know what I'm talking about? I'm sure you have no idea. This is where I start many, many journeys. If you go to the left there, or I guess straight ahead and then left, that's the parking garage. Go to the right, which is where I'm headed. That's the front desk. I'm just kidding. Kidding about that I'm going to the front desk, but the front desk really is there. We need to get to the other side. And then figure out where we're gonna go from there, other than south. All right. We're back on the attack. Holy crap. It's 8.30, folks. Uh-oh, going back out. Woo-wee. <laughs>
Oh, what a boy it is to be on the town and in love. All right. That was a Vegas vacation uh, reference, folks. I obviously can't sing. I know. And I'm the one making fun of people who do karaoke. For those of you that don't remember the scene, that's when, well, Rusty, I think his dad gives him 20 bucks, walking the strip, comes across the uh, Riviera, which as we all know is long gone now. And there's a dude out there singing and you know he's trying to hey ten dollar tickets blah 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 fake ids when rusty's right but there rusty gives him the money goes in the uh casino goes to the bar gives the bartender the id and uh <laughs> the bartender takes a uh it's a double take and he goes uh this way no, you can't cross this way, dude. You got to go to that land bridge over here. Just go back here and then that bridge that goes over. Up there? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And, um... I'm going to let these people go because I don't want to take any chances here. Anyways, so he gets the ID, gives it to the bartender. Bartender takes a, a double take and then he goes, uh, We got a problem here, sir. And then the camera pans, uh, the bartender hands, shows him the ID, and Rusty's a white dude, and the picture on the ID is a black dude. So, anyways, um, security boots Rusty out. Rusty tells the, the guy out there trying to sell the tickets to folks, "Hey, I want my money back." So then he flips the uh, his little sign that he's wearing around, you know. And it's got a fake ID set up. So <laughs> the guy takes a picture of Rusty. There's a little hole for Rusty to put his head. And then he's now Nick Papa Giorgio. And for those of you that don't know, I'll still I'll spoil the end for you. He eventually wins four cars. And the Griswolds take off in four cars at the end of the, uh, at the end. I won't spoil the rest of the end of the movie for you, but I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen it. Come on, let's not kid ourselves. We know you've seen it. If I li if I lived here, what is it, 20? next year will be 20 years, and I've seen it many times. I'm pretty sure you all have seen it many times too. We got Jilly from Philly. I don't remember the other guys. I just remember Jilly from Philly because it rhymed. And then, um, who else we got? Jilly from Philly. I, ah, I'm never going to remember those other two guys' names. It's crazy how this place goes 24-7, you know? And how different scenes, etc. I mean, look how nicely the hotels are all lit up. People are out and about. A bunch of traffic. You know, you roll here at 6 in the morning, you could probably shoot off an AK-47. Whoa, there are my horns. You could probably shoot off an AK-47 and not hit a single person. Because no one's out here. are out during the day at night all right the summer they come out more during that time you get the uh, I forgot what name we came up with 
know if it was, I think it was Ray, or maybe it was Jay or Luis. One of you three dudes came up with a nickname for the porn peddlers that hit the, that have the, the naked girls on those little pieces of paper, like business cards that make the noise. And I forgot the name, but they, uh, they're only out at night. Oh. Obviously, most of the shows, the big shows, take place at night, not during the day. I think they do have some shows during the afternoon. Like, com like I guess, lower-budget comedy and magic shows. Oh, no. I hope they don't have the musician dudes. They do. They do. If they don't have them at the Bellagio, they got them elsewhere. One, zero, boom. Just made it. That was good, Luis. Timing wise. Universal principles of truthfulness, compassion, and forbearance. By 1999, there were 100 million practitioners in China. The tremendous popularity of the practice, as well as its principles, and the rage. What am I at Disneyland with those lit up balloons? I thought about going through the forum shops right now, but the only problem with that is that if I go through there, last time at least, the music was, uh, I had to delete most of the part of the video, which sucked. But, on the other hand, it would be nice to cool off like that. Wow, look at everybody lined up for the, uh, well, not everybody, but they're lining up for the uh, Mirage Volcano. I think I'd line up a little bit closer, but not too close. See, now, if I was a showgirl, oh, wait, take that back. Doug, it's firefighter time, bro. We just hang out here at night or at the water fountains and just psh, dude we make so much money buddy i'm telling you uh we're gonna make this light we're gonna make this light seven six five four whoa we almost had an accident there whoa one taxi driver honking at the other one who almost rear-ended the one. <laughs> She's like, where you got from? All right. My man, Bumblebee. I know, you guys are probably wondering, what? This dude's going this way? Stuff on glass? I can't believe it. Uh -oh. They're tooting their horns tonight, folks. 
Guess what? What? What the heck? I don't really care for Harrah's. No offense if y'all do. But I was like, man, I don't know the last time I was in here. Oh, maybe the music's too loud there. That's why I usually don't come through here. I don't know. But I figure that light turned on. It's hot. Let me cool down just a little bit. Seven and a half. What? Let's cut across to Caesars. We cool down a little bit. Buddy Mickey. Oh, don't run over Mickey, man. What the heck, dude? Oh, there we go. Now Mickey and Minnie, they're like, whoo. Gotta put our mask back on. And because we're uh, sharp and we know the game. When you know the game, you know the game, folks. How dumb did that sound, huh?
almost nine and it's past the cowboys bedtime what The question is, folks, do we go outside at the Bellagio or do we go inside? Part of me says go inside, cool. And part of me says go outside because I'm sure it's going to be crazy wild busy out there. However, the one thing that... Uh, question is are you guys going to be prepared for me to complain about uh, all the folks on the sidewalk with those little uh, circle picture doohickey things I don't know folks what do we do the million dollar question for the six million dollar man For those of you that are wondering, I don't think I explained it earlier, but I had planned to. A little bit forgetful, as you know. So the reason, not always, but usually, like, if I start a walk at like 6 or 7 o'clock at night, the reason I usually start at the MGM Grand is because from where I live, for those of you that know the freeway system and kind of the streets and all that, like Yorkshire Dave, the uh, somewhat Las Vegas local, my man. Where I live is, I take that 215, which kind of goes around the Las Vegas Beltway. But from there, I can uh, go underneath the airport, and it essentially lets me out on Tropicana. Because for those of you that don't know, the traffic on the I-15, especially, well, either direction around the Tropicana area, is just a nightmare. I mean, it just, it's not like LA traffic. Don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing like that crap. But, nonetheless, it still sucks. People are waiting to get on the escalator. No. They're all going to get on the escalator. Right when uh, I am. We still got time. Go ahead and whip it around there, folks. And that's what you call not beginner's luck. All right, we got to keep moving, folks. Or else we're all going to get crushed. Wow. 
the fucking car. Uh-oh. And if you... And Shut the if fuck you, up, what? <laughs> <laughs> I know the song, buddy. See? all good now I'm gonna stay inside for sure cuz I gotta walk downstairs <laughs> I'm just kidding going downstairs ain't bad going upstairs in this seat funny it's like these people like uh oh what do I do you just push it push it real good <laughs> y'all know the song you know what I'm talking about we busters Look, she's saying, don't look at those girls' butts. Wow, Minnie's all here by herself. You think I should hit on her? Hey, Minnie, what's up? You're looking pretty cute there, sweetie. I'm surprised I don't have the music blasting like a mofo tonight. I wonder if the uh, next song is probably going to go off at 9. And then it's going to blast off. up through this here. Why? Try and get most of this video, of course. Everybody's lined up. Showtime about to begin. Trying to pay for school. Mm. I got an idea, bro. Get a job. Or uh, dress up like a firefighter like Doug and myself, one of the two. thinking the music's about to start or the show oh who called it cold drink cold water whoa I don't think uh, we're gonna make this one folks we're not going to do our chancy chance tonight.
Anyways, getting back to the MGM. So that's the quickest route to avoid the traffic on the I-15, basically. Otherwise, I'm gonna be sitting there. And at the end of the day, I mean, I like to change it up where I start now that I know I can do that. Um, but here we go. During the day, it's kind of like whatever. Just in case. I knew it wasn't gonna go. Although last time I didn't think it was gonna go green and it went green. So maybe I don't know that much sometimes. Oh. There we go. I'm gonna give that the uh, longest honk award or best honk of the night. Oh. I take that back. Hey, wait. That was the bus. I don't care, man. They still get best honk of the night. Or best honk of the walk. Hey, anyone, uh, oh, thank you, sir. Anyone ever eat at any of these uh, food courts over here at the Cosmo? Peter, I know you like the Cosmo. I don't know if you're watching, though, buddy. But that's a, uh, it seems like some good food. Uh, I was here earlier today for something, and I was like, man, the burgers look good, or then they smelled really good. I know that place is called Egg Slut. Never uh, eaten there before, but it seemed immensely popular because I was here at two in the afternoon and there was a line for it. I think, uh, oh. and I couldn't believe it, like eggs at two in the afternoon. Although I guess if you, partied hard or something and you were like man it's breakfast time I want breakfast I can understand that then turn right tonight we're gonna turn left let's see if we can get into the nightclub you think they'll let me in in shorts a t-shirt probably a bunch of body odor at this point after this sweat fest black shoes black socks tell me that's not a fashion statement Marquee nightclub and day club. Not really going to go in, obviously. I don't think they would let me in anyways. Unless maybe... Uh, no, nah, I don't even think they would let me in. I was going to say if I knew someone. Uh-oh. Who's the one getting married? Huh. Maybe it's too early for the nightclub. I don't know. I'm not into that stuff. We've had that discussion, though. I prefer mezcal. 
Paloma, not really the Paloma, I don't like that drink. And then uh, just straight shots of tequila, but good tequila, not that Jose Cuero cheap shit. I like it best if it's nice and chilled. Security busy there looking at their phone. Makes you feel real safe and secure. I mean, if they're getting paid to look at their phone, then I'm super secure. But I'm pretty sure they're not. I wonder if we're going to see our uh, CD guy from the last trip. What's up, little homie? We'll go see if uh, how well the CD sales are going. quiet you know where must be by crystals the quietest shopping mall on the strip and there's our home for the evening the MGM Grand I got a little marketing uh, thing I need to talk to someone in their marketing department specifically advertising going to be a million dollar retirement nest egg for me. I can't tell you guys. I'm just kidding. I got nothing. Oh. I thought that lady had an iron in her hand, but she had the uh, Luxor Pyramid. Must be a drink or something. Oh. Look at this, nine o'clock at night, folks, and this place is still dead. I wonder what these stores have to sell to break even. I mean, don't get me wrong, they probably sell one purse and they're done for the day. These, these stuff's so expensive. God's sake, Jeez. Well, Peter, if you're watching, buddy, hospitality appreci appreciates you. Nice little aria lit up at night, huh? It's a nice one. I was going to say, it's funny, I'm going to get home and want another meal. 
at 10 o'clock at night. All right, I'm exaggerating just a little bit. But I'm definitely gonna need some uh, some fruit. I need me some energy for tomorrow. I gotta bang out one walk. I don't think I can bang out two, man. Sorry, folks. If it wasn't gonna be 113, if it was gonna be like, I don't know, maybe like 80, 90 for the high, I'd do it, no problem. Oh, shit. Let me, oh uh, well. I know someone wanted me to walk through the Waldorf. Sorry, I just remembered. I'll see if I can remember tomorrow. A little earlier next time. I'm definitely taking Saturday off, just to let y'all know that. That's a guarantee. Only because I'll probably have five trillion errands to run and I gotta change the oil in my wife's car. I'm supposed to change that last weekend, but no. I got busy walking and doing other things. Oh no, I'm kidding. I was in Mexico. So that wasn't gonna happen. If we can get some brew dog. What do you think, Dudley? Brew dog, bud? Nah. Not tonight. We gotta get home. dude in the gray there was uh, kind of behind me and off to the side. That's why I kind of slowed down. Couldn't figure out. Uh, kind of felt weird with him back there. Harden our dust while we enhance the guest experience. I don't see anything going on in there. Oh well. That's the way it goes sometimes. Kind of like when you're rolling down the highway and it says, oh, we got to close this lane or whatever. And all they have are a bunch of cones. But it doesn't look like any work's going on. No employees around. Not like a hole in the ground. Nothing. Ooh. Are we going to be able to get it? Get it, get it. Uh-oh. I think we'll get it. If not, we'll just run it. We'll run it like uh, Roy and John in Squad 51. We'll just blast it. You got to get... Uh, you gotta have those skills to be able to juke back and forth to get through that. Whew. Oh man. 
My guys had to switch up their routine. Well, folks, the question is, we know this water has been gone for a uh, for a while here. We know they replaced the water over at the Statue of Liberty with some turf. I don't see how they could replace turf here, because how are you going to say turf's under the Brooklyn Bridge? I think that's supposed to be the Brooklyn Bridge. That'd be kind of dumb, huh? I mean, I'm just saying. Well, Luis, sorry, tonight we're not going to get the Excalibur, but we did get it in the last video, and we got the Luxor. I think you said, I know you said Excalibur in New York, New York, but I thought you said Luxor, too. Let's hope the escalator's working. I would go that way, but oh, I can't believe it. Oh well. Oh no, it sounds like Elvis. Elvis is sick cousin. Oh my gosh. Wow. Ai chihuahua. How about that folks? Do you believe it? We got our Vegas vacation song to end the night. Talk about good luck, huh? I think that was Frank Sinatra, huh? Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, all that good stuff. Anyways, hope you have a great weekend. 
stay safe out there. If you come here, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Thank you.